Quick video about dermatology or skin conditions and when they present, what to think about in terms of their psychosocial world. Yes, you're gonna talk about clinical stuff, trying to work out a diagnosis, but there's a lot of things that you can uncover when you start to ask about people's lives. So if you start with the occupation, obviously a huge part of our life, could there be certain dusts, for example, dusty environments that could trigger off certain conditions? Could there be chemicals that they're coming into contact with that can lead to certain problems? What's the temperature like? Is it a very hot, humid environment that can predispose you to certain skin problems? There may be questions they come to you with. Am I allowed to work with this condition? Is it contagious? Should I be using this type of glove, for example? Contact dermatitis, lots of things to think about from the work environment. Then we move on to home and hobbies. So firstly, relationships. Is there any impact on the relationship? Is it causing problems that they've got this skin condition, for example? Any new products that they've started to use, shower gel, soaps, washing up powders, all can trigger off certain rashes and skin problems. Family, think about contacts. Has anyone else got similar symptoms? Things like scabies, for example. Could there be links there with other members of the family? And also sun exposure, sun tan, sun beds. And when you think about moles, melanomas, that kind of thing, worth bearing it in mind. And someone slightly younger, if they're in school, for example, what sort of hobbies are they doing? Arts and crafts, again, dusts. Could there be things, woodwork, for example, what could be triggering certain skin problems? Bullying, is there an impact here? Could a lot of children might be bullied for certain skin problems? That might be one of the main reasons for presenting. There may be some questions asked of you again. So should I be taking time off? This, you know, my child's got chicken pox. What are the rules about taking time off, for example? Also, is it contagious, doctor? Can they be spread to other children? Therefore, are they allowed to go to school with it? Stress, a big thing to take into account, both as the cause of the skin problem. If someone is stressed, they may be scratching more, which can lead to rashes, irritation, or is it the result of the problem? So they have a derm condition, it can lead to big levels of stress. So it's worth bearing that in mind and think of it two ways. And that leads on to things like confidence and self-esteem. Very, you know, can, can happen quite quickly in, in, in derm conditions. Have a very low threshold for screening for things like depression in dermatological conditions. Again, something that we think is quite minor can lead to quite significant impacts on mind as well. So there's lots of other things to think about in terms of psychosocial and skin. But hopefully this gives you a good overview to start with. Hope it helps.